Most have heard the news by now that Carlton Pearson, the heretic that claimed there was no hell, of course, lost his mega church in Oklahoma back in around 2002. Many claim that Pearson is, in fact, in heaven. Now, I know that seems very strange coming from a man who basically denied what Jesus did on the cross. But now, a little piece of news that I didn't find, to be honest, all that surprising of a church that's hosting a celebration of life service for Mr. Pearson. And that church is Transformation Church, led by Pastor Michael Todd, who is a heretic and an apostate in his own right. And I've spoken about him many times before in the past. So we're going to talk about this celebration of life service in more detail in just a second. Welcome, everybody, to Not By Sight News. Yes, blind Christian guy here reporting to you on the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you, as always, we walk by faith, not by sight. For someone like me, it's kind of my only option. I remind you guys as well, if you enjoy and appreciate the work I do here, consider blessing my ministry with a generous donation. A couple different ways you could do it. One easy way, just click the super thanks button down below on this video here. That's how you can tip me with a one-time donation of any amount. Whatever you can contribute, it helps and adds up. It doesn't matter how small or how big. Or become a premium member of Not By Sight News. Join my Patreon today for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash Not By Sight News. Link in the description. When you guys join the Patreon, you get all the videos before they ever hit my main YT platform. I always take care of the Patreon members first. You guys also get the alerts for all the videos, which does not happen on my main YT platform. It's a big reason the videos don't get many views. Nobody knows I'm posting consistent content. Well, no issue with that on Patreon. Also there, comment censorship free on all videos and even send me DMs. So check it out again. Patreon.com slash not by site news link in the description. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. Of course, Carlton Pearson has passed away at the age of 70. It was made official by his family in a statement that was released around November 19th that Pearson had passed on. Now, there were reports prior to that that Pearson had passed away earlier in the month of November although those had proven to be false. Pearson, of course, and I've talked about him before in the past, the heretic that denied the existence of hell, he lost his megachurch in Oklahoma because of it. And, you know, he became affiliated with the All Souls Unitarian Church, which is a completely apostate church that embraces everything that is against the word of God. Pearson is somebody who was also uh, extremely pro-choice, pro-LGBT. I mean, look, the embodiment of somebody who truly was not a real servant of God. And you can say that he fell away from the faith, you know, when he started to embrace universalism and, and you know, denying the Trinity. And I can go on and on. It's just very unfortunate. And many people were wondering in Pearson's final days, would he repent of his false teachings? Would he apologize to those that he led astray? Well, it doesn't look like it. I mean, in fact, I mean, Tate was, you know, putting out messages, you know, even weeks prior to his passing, but none of those messages contained anything about repentance, apologies for false teachings, none of that at all. In fact, uh, for Pearson, he claimed that he was looking forward to seeing everybody in heaven. So I don't know what heaven he is speaking of. Because for somebody that was in rebellion to God for as long as he was, I don't think that he's going to be with the Lord in paradise. Now, unless he, on his deathbed, decided in a moment of clarity, I better fix this, I, you know, I, I don't think he made it, to be honest with you. However, the people over at Transformation Church in Oklahoma, led by Michael Todd, think something completely different. So they're having this celebration of life service. For Pearson, that's going to be taking place on Friday, December 1st. And Michael Todd, the pastor there, and I've talked about it before. I mean, a heretic again in his own right. Somebody who, you know, likes to crowd surf during his worship services. Somebody who uses extreme illustrations in his sermon that are just absolutely ridiculous. At the end of the day, this is a 
clown who is entertaining the goats. That's what so many churches have become these days as well, is nothing more than entertainment venues. He's put on just these just weird Christmas pageants and Easter pageants and nothing that in any way would remotely resemble the Lord, or the, the Christmas message or the Easter message, nothing like that at all. Um, he's also made excuses and apologies for uh, the LGBT and all this. I, I mean, it, it, look, it, 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 you can see it for yourself in Todd, okay? But let's talk about this celebration of life because apparently, according to Todd, he put out this heartfelt goodbye, tribute, whatever you want to call it, to Pearson said that Pearson was his childhood pastor. Oh, okay, so it makes sense now when it comes to Michael Todd about where he stands on certain issues because he was mentored by Carlton Pearson. Well, there you go. I mean, look, it doesn't get any easier to figure out than that, right? So Todd talked about how this man truly changed his life, had taught him so much and that it would only be right for him to pay appropriate tribute to Pearson by his church hosting a celebration of life for Mr. Pearson. Again, that will be taking place on Friday, December 1st at Transformation. Now, no real big details as far as what they're going to be doing here uh, for this celebration. Although, let me say this. Is it really a celebration for Pearson? Because, you know, when you hear a celebration of life, you're celebrating the fact that, you know, these individuals have gone on now to be with the Lord and you pay respect and tribute for what they did in their life, the ministry that they lived and all of that. But can you really say that about Pearson? I don't think there's any celebrating going on. In fact, there should be a lot of, a lot of sadness for where Pearson most likely probably is based off, you know, his rebellion towards the Lord. And again, leading so many people astray. Why are we celebrating that? What is there to celebrate? You know, when you truly don't have a concept of what Jesus did for you on the cross, I don't know how you can consider yourself any sort of a leader at all. You know, he went to that cross to save us from going to hell so that we could embrace him as our savior. And if you don't believe that, then you're basically somebody that's just running around in this world completely unchecked in your own sin and you can just do whatever you want and make it to heaven anyway. That's what Pearson thought and that's wrong. And many people followed him. They didn't bother to read the word for themselves and actually look at what the scriptures say on certain things. You know, Jesus taught about hell more than he did about heaven. He spoke more about it. It's in the Bible. Why would he do that? Because he was warning us. He was trying to prevent us from going to that place. Wouldn't you rather heed the words that the Lord was saying that when he says, when I go, I shall go and prepare a place for you and receive you unto myself. In my father's house are many mansions. Yes, Jesus talked about heaven and that's exciting. Remember, he did talk about hell even more. I don't think Carlton Pearson is in one of those mansions today. But for Michael Todd and Transformation Church, they think otherwise. And again, from an entertainment venue, that is transformation. You can't really be all that surprised. But I'll put more information on this in the description. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Look, hey, maybe you're somebody who attends transformation. And if you're going to be a part of the celebration of life or you were a part of the celebration of life, if you're watching us after the fact, give us your thoughts and your reaction. What I want to do right now is something I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. Of course, I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, keep you guys up to speed and everything else going on. I do it because yes, we're in the last days, really the final hours. Christ is coming soon. Now, for anybody watching right now, if you're somebody who has not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me, he paid the cost. 
What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again. Child of God, you will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you that there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Don't forget, the links to donate to the ministry are there as well. Join the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash notbysightnews. Link in the description. Or just hit that super thanks button down below on this video here where you can tip me with a one-time donation. It is all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.